I was just ejected from this Jewish temple, folks. She didn't say she's going to call the police on me. She wouldn't tell me what their faith or belief is. And she's too busy to speak the word of God. I asked him, did the Messiah come? Was it Jesus a messenger or is it the true Messiah? She said she wouldn't answer that question. I'm recording you for the Lord. I'm recording you for the real. I am. What's your name? Oh, don't sit there and look stupid on your face because I love you, sisters. You got to be kidding me. You're ridiculous. What's your name, sister? I got, yeah, you record me for the world because guess what? I'm broadcasting you around the world this evening. Look at my channel called Captain Kirk. And I actually saw the Lord. It's called Kirk James. And yes, Kirk James. And guess what? I have the Lord's cross in the sky. A true miracle. Have you ever seen a miracle? You come from Missouri, huh? Oh, uh, yes, I actually come from, I'm a child of God. So where do you come from? Hell? Satan? Do you love God? I'm going to ask you a question. you love God? Oh, oh, so you're a New Jersey gal. You know the Jersey boys, don't you? You got, you're blasphemy. You kidding me. Do you love God? I'm going to ask you that question. You can't answer it, can you? Because you're, you can't answer I love God. Yeah, close the door. Shut it good because Satan loves you. I'm broadcasting you around the world. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, folks. She could not say she loves God. You have got to be kidding me. Folks, I'm sorry. I'm, I was actually getting some thoughts. I forgot I was still recording here. Because i got to move along in case the police call. They don't know me in press, uh, press get instead of press Scott. I don't know if that's a Mandela effect. Are you kidding me? There again, you got a sister. I'm going to call the police on you. Uh, why don't you call God? It's wireless, lady number one. Number two, are you a blasphemy? Are you, I said you don't call, you don't call another a police and anybody asking me to escort me off the property. And she goes, what's your name? And I'll tell you my name's Kirk James. I'm not afraid. I'm a child of God. You are kidding me, folks. I mean, are you, are you heard the conversation. You didn't hear all the conversation. You can have the recording before. I mean, I actually had two foot. I said, can I talk to him for five minutes? And, uh, and I just, I was being real polite and kind and said, you know, I'd just like to ask you some questions. And they said, we're kind of busy in a meeting. And I asked her what the word of God is. That was your duty. One says she's the president of the temple. And I don't care what your religion is. Your religion is to spread the word that you believe in God. That means she doesn't have any faith of her own stinking religion. Are you kidding me? Even Native Americans will tell you immediately they don't like giving in their divulging to white people. They'll tell you some basics. They'll say we believe the father and all, we believe the mother, depending on if you're Navajo or Hopi. Are you kidding me? She said, I'm not going to answer your question. It's an honest, open-ended question. Are you kidding me? I am about to puke. You're a fake religion. I mean, really, folks. So... I am just disgusted. I am about to throw up with this one. I cannot believe this. I ain't told her, you saw me. I broadcast you down the damn road because you know what, folks? It's not about the number, but it grows. I tell one person and they tell 20, and pretty soon the whole damn world knows. Because guess what? You and I, brothers and sisters, we are going to make a damn difference, and they're going to hear us from the top, the top of mountaintops because I am the true word, a true true child of God and so are you and they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna throw up someday when they realize who we are because I told her and I'm gonna tell you this I have talked to the Lord I have I have spoken to him directly not through some damn uh, drugs or drinking or other damn bullshit I've spoken to the Lord directly I even told her I said I have spoken to the Lord have you and she said it's good for you good for me even if you don't believe in the Lord, you might want to hear some of these words. 
That's why I keep a damn open mind is spirituality. I want to know everything. That's why it's not by because I want to know what the Jewish, what they believe, whether Jesus was just a Messiah, a messenger, or if he was the Son of God. Because they claim he did not fulfill prophecy. Doesn't matter. I really don't care because we need we have a new beginning on the revelations anyway. I really don't care. I need to understand what we're fighting for, who we're fighting for, and and make sure that we're on the correct path. Because I can't afford any damn mistakes. We've had too many ancestors in our in our lifetimes, in the ones before that died for these for these things. And I will not tolerate any mistakes. Okay, folks. I cannot make a mistake myself. That's why that's a true that's a true follower of of your God is when you're constantly using the Holy Spirit and constantly monitoring, checking and checking and checking. Because remember, at these times, anybody can claim they're Jesus Christ. Anybody can can tell you what the Scripture we've already seen in the Bible changed the Mandela effect. Heck, could have changed before before we were born. Who knows? So I have to double check everything. You have to use one hell of a discernment. Okay. God bless and love you all.